We're here. Food and wine. I'm ready to get some things, really just to look at the merchandise, but also get a couple things. Cheese balls are Cheese calling my Cheese balls. <laughs> Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thanks. Hey guys, we are here at Epcot and World Showcase and we are going to try some of the food booths. I'm so excited. Let's go eat. <laughs> Before we eat the food, we get the magnet. So August 29th through October 14th, they've got Chef Minnie. And then October 15th through November 23rd, they have Chef Remy. And in addition, because we're pass holders, we get a complimentary coaster set on your fourth visit. So this will be the first visit for the festival. Um, this is the shop right as soon as you enter World Showcase on the left. I think it's called Disney Traders. Okay, I need to start collecting these now. Oh my goodness, but what if I have a boy? Okay, okay. All right then. We also have to make sure they um, mark it somehow for our... Oh, okay. Caitlin? Yep. Thank you. Oh my gosh. So cute. We're going to try the empanada. And the casito, probably. I'll see what mom grabs. Did you get the casito too or just the empanada? It's okay. No, it's fine. We'll get something else. Do you want to do the casito? Okay. Yeah. That's it. Empanada. 550. It looks good. First forks of the season. Yep. They have mom supposedly a reusable set. Like they had a couple of that's a knife. Like they had a couple of years ago. Yeah. It even talks about reducing waste, choose to reuse. That's cool. Do you wanna go buy the flowers? I wonder if there's oh, well there's that. We can eat on that thing. Or yeah, that's fine. Look at all the beautiful flowers. I would love to be like a helper of planting. Here, I will switch with you. Okay, let me try first. Just bite it, right? All right, we got empanada. Should I just, I feel like biting it might be. Yeah, maybe. Oh, maybe, maybe not. How does one eat an empanada? It's got a tom tomato aioli. I think that's what those on top. Oh, sorry, didn't have your face on the screen. It was really good. I know I'm being nice and I have to share, but I probably wouldn't have otherwise. We can get another one. I like it when they're good like that. Yeah, and you don't want to share. Okay, so this was $5.50. I think I'll just go get another one. Something new to the festival this year is the special Emile's fromage montage. I, I'm sure I mispronounced all of that, but anyway, it's a cheese crawl. Um, so the first one that we've come across is this warm Swiss cheese from the Alps booth. So we're gonna grab that now, get this bad boy stamped, and check it out. Whoa. So cool. I'm literally dumping it off of that brick of cheese. Whoa! I wonder how many wedges they go through just in one day. Probably more than one. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing good. One cheese all day. You guys can to stay off to the side. Did you awesome. Your water? Yeah, we grabbed it. Thank you. Hi, how are you doing? One that is so cool. And you guys will go ahead and stand off to the side. How she did that. So that, that, that's why it takes a minute though, is because she has to wait for it to heat up enough that she can... Keep it off. Yeah. That's so cool. The tart looks really good too, Mama. That can be one we try next time. Yeah. Hi, how are you guys doing? <laughs> All right, 
Oh my goodness. You go ahead and see it off to the side for me. I'll be with you in just one second. That one must be ours. Whoop! Plop of cheese. That's so cool. Cheese. Awesome. Thank you. Oh All my right, goodness. So little tiny potatoes and little French breads. Let's stand over here. Very cool. Okay. I would say it smells better now. The booth is a little stinky because it's a bunch of cheese. But. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. You did say that oh in my gosh. Life. Look at these little tiny pickles. Oh my it's goodness. Got well, you this will be your favorite. Pickles. And it's already hardening pretty quickly. I mean, it had to be hot for her to slice it off, but then it's already kind of like congealing to the potatoes. Yeah. Pickles are good. You won't like them because they're hot pickles, but. Mm -mm -mm. Would you get it again? We'd get that empanada again. We both said we're like, we're already coming back for the empanada. I love the pickles. The cheese is good. The potatoes are a little bland, so we'll see what you think. Okay. It looks nice though. Nice and cheesy. Yep. That's the point. Sure. Oh, it's tasty. It's tasty. It's tasty. It's tasty. Make sure you get the big mouth. They don't have Okay. All the guys Okay. All right, let's try this thing. What is this thing? You said what we got, right? It's a yeah, it's a vegan dish, so it smells really good. And it's hearty. When they handed me the plate, the plate is really heavy. But you can see the rice and then on top it looks like this is the bean mixture. Um, so it's got some like, it wasn't chickpea, it was some kind of... They called it pigeon pea. Pigeon pea. Um, and kidney beans that looks like, and then it's just got some kind of slaw, like Corn. carrots, onions, peppers. Yeah, it smells good. Oh, it's spicy. Is it? It's really spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Katie doesn't like things real spicy. <laughs> It's very flavorful. It's very good, but I don't know how much of this I'll be able to eat. It's very spicy. Eyes <laughs> are watery. It's really good though. Good. It's spicy. South good food by old McDonald and help the fun. It's a line and a Stop two for the cheese. Walker, I'm sorry. This kid is loving it. That's awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. All right. They have this every year. Yeah. Um, and it's ham and cheese and like a noodle bake. Mm -hmm. And it's usually like I, I would put a little more seasoning in it, but this year it's really good. It's seasoned really well. Oh, good. Because I feel like we say that every year that it's a little plain. Mm -hmm. um, so that's good to hear. They also had the apple strudel that they usually have, and we didn't get that. Um, it's because we get it every year. Right. But we the reason we got this was for the cheese crawl. Um, so what my impression of that when you first told me was that I thought it was going to be kind of like the statues in the front where they were actually like little cheeses. Yeah. Like different cheese blocks or something. But it's kind of cool that it's an actual meal with the cheese incorporated into it. So the Alps booth was new. We've never seen that one before. But Germany was a dish they have had every year. But it's still really right. good. I love it. Yeah, good. It's like a... Waffles are in need. You don't, you don't want any waffle, right? Waffles! I think we're probably just gonna do one of each. There's the Belgian booth. Are we gonna do one of each? I don't know. One chocolate, one berry. Chocolate, I'll take your whole stock. That'd be great. Oh, this is so good. This is our must-do every year. This and the cheese. She's working hard. Yeah, that doesn't suck. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you so much. One chocolate, one berry. Yeah, that doesn't suck, Mama. It looks blue in this light. That's so funny. We can go towards the light post, probably. Oh, my God. 
I feel like these don't rip real well. The so time has come to... for the deliciousness that is the Belgian waffle. Yeah, this doesn't suck. You, I feel like it's it's not real ladylike, but it's delicious. Mm -hmm. On her nose, <laughs> on her lips. I was so good. They are just delicious. That woman was literally like lifting up the waffle maker iron press and popping them out in these things for us. So they are straight from the press. Delicious. Delicious. I wish this had smell of vision. These are so good. They're so good. We get them every year, another every staple. Year. Um, and the woman, so this counts as one of the um, cheese crawl booths. And the woman was being so sweet and she stamped my book twice. So instead of needing, <laughs> instead of needing um, two more, I would have only needed one more to get the free cheesecake. But like my, but my like OCD self is super mad because now it's not gonna have all the correct stamps in it because that stamp is in the correct order. In, in there twice and it shouldn't be. Um, I'm just mean. But anyway, we're just gonna eat these cheese, ba <laughs> cheese balls now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're on the hunt for the apple bucket. You see it? I don't. They have a blueberry banjo frosty. That looks good. But it's alcoholic, so. Hmm. Let me look at my passport and see if I can find it in there. Oh my gosh, this is a trip, y'all. Normally this is the theater for the Canada 360 attraction. We just walked all the way down the path past the Kidcot area and came in here and they have it completely decorated as an apple orchard. It's really, really cool in here. So I feel like you kind of just go to whichever section you're wanting to. It looks like there's a wine bar and that's actually where the wine is. And then on the other side, a cider bar maybe? And then you can just kind of hang out here um, where you would normally stand to watch the movie. This is so cool. Oh yeah, I see mom. Hi, thank you. Very, very cool. I'll have to catch up with her. So cute, this little apple orchard container. It has caramel apple popcorn in it but we're really full, so I'm actually just gonna take this home and have it as a snack for tomorrow. Uh, but mom also got me this, which is an apple pie slush. It doesn't have alcohol in it. They also didn't have the apple pie filling to put in it, but the woman said that that was probably better anyway, because that's just apple chunks that get put at the bottom. So when you're drinking it, it kind of gets, what you say, just like hard to drink, because mm -hmm. there's chunks in it. Um, so anyway. Bottoms up. It tastes like apple pie filling. It's so sweet. It's really good. And because it's frozen, with it being hot and humid outside, this would be really refreshing to kind of walk around with. Um, it's really good. I would get it again. It's just very sweet. So she I'm not going to chug this. Be very sparing with your sips. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Alright guys, so that was our first day at Food and Wine Festival. We actually managed to get all the way around. Of course we didn't try all of the booths, so you will have to stay tuned to see what else we try throughout this two or three month long festival. I feel like it keeps getting longer and longer every year. But if you enjoyed, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!